Hello, beautiful designers, and welcome out to the story. My name is Peter. Hello, to the story. We're just going to see how we can be able to be to to deny the checkout for a particular category if the minimum quantity has not been reached. This is a question that was this is a tutorial that was requested by one of my users. So I felt this good to I just do the tutorial. This is how it's gonna work for now. I just limited for this bottom category. You know, I just need to do. I add for this cut add to cut and I select another category here. You can see this one is footwear and this one is bottoms. And just that all I just need to do is I head over to the checkout. I have this notice that say a minimum of 20 products is required for the bottom category and before checking out. You see now we don't have the button for the checkout. If I decide to remove uh, this product from the other category, the footwear, you see, we do, we do have this uh, this notice here. Whatever I just decided now to add the product to about 20 and I update the cut. You see now the button to proceed to check out is available for now. So one, once I just uh, reduce below 20, I still get the notice. Whatever I decided now to go back to the shop and I add from our another uh, our another category and I also proceed to checkout. And I decide to remove the one for the bottom. You see, every any other category works perfect. That's the tutorial for today, and without further ado, let's just get into action and I show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, we need to go for the plugin button. And on Hofa, we have these three options. Select a new because you need to add a plugin that we facilitate on us to be able to add the code so easily. So I just come here and search for snippet. Here we have it. It's called Code Snippet from Code Snippet Pro. More than 600,000 active installation. Uh, last updated just two weeks ago, I installed the plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, all you just need to do is we activate the plugin. Now, after the plugin has been updated, uh, once the plugin has been activated, now on the dashboard menu, we have now this button for, uh, for snippet. On how far we have uh, the button for all snippet, a new important setting for that. So I just select a new because we need to install a new plugin. Uh, we just need to add a new snippet. So I just need to give it a name. The first thing we just do. So I'll just name it here like uh, minimum quantity for category. Like that. I just copy this one and I just paste it here. And then after that, I need to just head over here. I have included the link on the description. All I just need to do is copy the uh, copy the code here and after that paste it here after you paste it all you just need to do is land the snippet everywhere and save and activate the changes so just that now we have our now working our uh, our, our function working so the other thing is that we don't have uh, the category here like the one we are just uh, the bottom category. So all you just need to do is head over to the dashboard here. Head over back to the dashboard. And scroll now to where you have the, uh, the product and select categories. Here we only have accessories. We have the main. We have all that. So all you just need to do is I copy this the name here. And after the copy the name, I just head over to the snippet here. So the one we are limiting now is the women. So I just select uh, edit. And now here we have online number 14. We have the category. So number 15 here. We have here uh, the, the category name. So I just paste the category name here. And we just start online number 12. We have the minimum. You can change the minimum number that is needed for the checkout. So remember when you change here, you also need to change here around number number 38 here. You need to, if you just add five here, remember to change five here. This one will apply when you are just in over in the notice. And the other one is the one that will be able to limit the minimum 
uh, the minimum one can be able to offer uh, to order. So from there, we just save the changes. Then from there, I can just go back here and I just go to women here. And I decide to add bracelet to the category. And I add. When I just view the cut, I just have a minimum. So it's a minimum of 20 product is required for the women category before checking out. So I can decide to change this 20 here. All I just need to do is I just select the minimum and I say minimum is 5. And I head over here around number that eight line, number that eight, I add five there and I save the changes. Once now I refresh on this end here, I should be able to see the changes and you see right now we have a minimum of five, pi five pieces and once I put six here, I'll be able to even have this uh, proceed to check out button active. If I just decide now to add something like three here, this button won't be active. You won't be able to be able to check out. You see, there's some issue with the item in the cart. So let's go back and so it will just head over back. So the minimum order, the minimum quantity order must be met for you be able, for the customer to be able to check out. I hope you did learn something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, Hit the thumbs up and if you are new here, consider subscribing. Till next time, thank you.